Hello everyone, this is Angie again with Too Cool Stamping. Um, I We started once, we had the a disruption. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna have another uh, week like last week where we lost everybody right at the end. So hopefully we lost everybody at the beginning and now we're just gonna start fresh. So I apologize if I really hate when we have te technical difficulties, but for some reason the connection is not good today. Anyway, we're going to try it, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get through it. Okay, let's start out. we um, starting over. We have a great class again this week. Artistically Inked is the stamp set. Artistic dies go with it in the bundle. And then my favorite, Expressions in Ink Designer Series Paper. I have wanted to do this ever since the catalog came out last year, but it sold out so quickly, and then I had a baby, and then I was, you know, doing other things. So anyway, we're back to this, and I'm so excited we get to do it before it goes away with this catalog. Now, um, just to make it clear, the Artistically Inked stamp set and coordinating dies are going to be in the upcoming catalog, so that's no worries about that. It's the paper that is so fabulous and gorgeous, and I want to make sure you get that before it's retired. So we're going to have our class today. Hopefully you'll want to earn the five card class kit for, with your $35 minimum order. I'll show you the host code when we flip the camera around. But before we do that, we are going to, I have several announcements. We're at the end of the month and I uh, just wanted to update you on all the stuff going on. So first of all, we, I mentioned the last chance list. That is all of the retired stuff that is going to be happening before May 2nd, but it is while supplies last only. And that means you gotta hurry and get it. It used to be that they guaranteed stamp sets until the end of, you know, like the last couple of weeks. They're not doing that any longer. So it's while supplies last. They've already sold out of 29 stamp sets the last I checked this afternoon. So things are going very quickly. If there's anything on your list, you're going to want to get that order in right away. Also, the retiring in colors. If you have any anything in those colors that you want, get those now. They're already sold out of the Just Jade and... Um, Bumblebee refill inks. As far as I know, they still have ink pads, cardstock, and markers uh, for those. Um, but some things are going to start selling out quickly. So don't wait. Don't be surprised. I've already gotten lots of people calling and texting me and where's this thing? It, it's already sold out. I can't help it. Once the list is out there, it goes fast sometimes. Um, also, there's uh, several, I several items on that list that are 50% off. So are up to 50% off. They're not all 50% off. Some are up to 50% off. Uh, if you want a complete list, you can go to twocoolstamping.com and I have a link there that you can print out a PDF and um, you can either do that or go straight to the uh, shop now to go to the store and you can, whatever's in there is what's available. If it's, if you can't find it in there, it's already gone. So if you have any questions, you can always double check with me. Okay, also happening before the end of March, savings are in bloom promotion. This is the, the one with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then also the coordinating uh, bundles that go with that. We have the all squared away. That was a really popular one. And then there's 12 other bundles. You can go to twocoolstamping.com and print out this flyer so you can see exactly what is in that. And all of those are 20% off. So that lasts until the end of March. And then um, I also want to know if you need to be on my catalog mailing list. Now, if you have ordered from me recently, like say within the next, the last um, six months or so, then you're automatically going to be getting a catalog in the mail as soon as that's available. Uh, but if you would like to get one, maybe you've never ordered from me, uh, maybe you haven't ordered in a while, make sure that you send me a message so that I can get one in the mail to you as soon as those are available. Those are going to be released on May 3rd. This is a picture of the catalog. I finally got mine yesterday. Uh, as a demo, of course, you get them early. And um, starting April 1st, demonstrators are going to be able to pre-order from this catalog. So if you're interested in having a little kind of sneak peek ahead of time thing going, you can always join my team. Just It's just $99 for your starter kit. You can get $125 worth of products and be a part of my team. And did you know, I don't know if many of you know this, I know that, uh, you know, if you like the classes that we're doing here live, 
if you're a part of my team, you actually are going to get all of the class PDFs, the tutorials, for free. We have a two cool team tutorial library and all of the classes that I do, I put my tutorials up there so that my team can enjoy those for free. So that's a nice perk. Also, um, if you still want the kit as a team member, you're gonna get a discounted price. Of course, I don't want you to place an order with me. If you're a team member, I want you to place your own order so that you can get that 20% discount that you would get as a team member. Uh, so I offer those to my team members for just $15. So that's a great value. You're gonna be able to get that class tutorial for free. Um, it's just a really nice perk for being part of the team. If you wanna know more about the benefits of being on my Two Cool Stampers team, then just contact me and I'll be happy to talk to you about that. And remember, you'll get this in the mail really quickly and you'll be able to pre-order from that beginning April 1st, that's this week, this week. So, exciting. Okay, let me see. I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. We're gonna, I'm so excited. I was like, I just wanna see whether we're gonna disconnect. It seems like we're still going, so yay. All right, we'll flip everything around and we'll start to do the project. So hang on. I always have that lovely view of my ceiling. It's a beautiful Spanish lace. I don't know what the ceiling light's called. You'll be happy to know the color that you see there is soft suede. Just a little, like a play-by-play -play action going on. All right, <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you the products that we're gonna be using today, the Artistically Inked Stamp Set. Beautiful, beautiful watercolory type of images, some really nice all occasion sentiments that go with it. So I love that by itself. We also have some beautiful dies here that are gonna cut out the images from the stamp set. There's also a couple of intricate dies that you can use to do some collage and make little uh, you know, floral bouquets on your project. So beautiful set of dies. But of course, my favorite is the Retiring Expressions in Ink Designer Series Paper. You guys, this is so gorgeous in person. I know it probably looks pretty nice on, on your screen, but it is so amazing. It actually has gold foil accents. You can see on here a bunch of different leaves and uh, flower centers are in the gold foil. Absolutely beautiful on that watercolored uh, floral background. So we have that. Each of the front pieces have gold foil, so I'll show you those up close. And then we'll flip it around. I love this. And all of these things, Stampin' Up! actually paints their own watercolor, or their own designer series paper. Their artists, hopefully you can see all that gold that's shimmering. Their artists actually um, they paint all of these images and then they go through and they, you know, they might digitize and, you know, duplicate to repeat the patterns and color correct to make sure that they perfectly match our colors. But they're always so beautiful because they're actually pieces of art. And then on the backs, we have all the coordinating colors in beautiful watercolor -y imagery. I love that one. So lots and lots of fun with that paper and it is it is fantastic. So make sure you get that, place your order as soon as you can so you don't uh, miss it before it's retired. You are gonna love, love, love it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our projects today. Oh, let me tell you about our host code. Um, remember we do a five card class kit every week and you can get that for free with a $35 order at twocoolstamping.com. Just click on the Shop Now link. Make sure that you apply that host code. That's very important so that I know which class you're interested in getting. This week's is ME4ZQ9TY, and that will be, uh, you can apply that on the checkout page. You'll see uh, a box up in the right-hand corner above the price. Okay, let's get started. And we have the first card here is going to start with Blackberry Bliss, and I have just a, a five and a quarter or five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And we'll burnish that with the bone folder, 
And then we're gonna start stamping on a piece of five by three and three quarter. So for this one, I'm gonna start with some flirty flamingo and this large flower. And this is a, um, a rubber cling stamp set, so I don't need my, I usually have my piercing mat available. I don't really need that since it's a cling. So there's two of the Flirty Flamingo flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and as I'm doing this, just squish, squish, squish on my Simply Chamois to make sure that that's all clean and ready to go for the next one. Okay, next up, I have Petal Pink, and we're going to use this pretty rose image, and we're just going to stamp that a couple of times. Like so. I'll clean that off. Then let's add some. Mm-hmm. Hold on a second, I lost my pear pizzazz. Here we go, pear pizzazz. And there's two different leaf images. The first one has two leaves, so I'm just gonna stamp that. And maybe another one over here. And then there's another one that's just a one leaf. And I might put one here. I just wanna fill in some spots with green so that we can have some balance. I think that's good. Maybe one, eh, that's good. Sometimes you can overdo it, so I'm just gonna stop there. All right, next we're gonna put a sentiment on there. And there's four different sentiments. I'm just gonna use the simple hello, and this is gonna be in rich razzleberry right up in the corner. Now we're gonna layer that on a piece of Flirty Flamingo. Oh, let me do one more thing. I wanna add the flower centers in Rich Razzleberry as well. There we go. And we have a kind of a triangle of that color. That's a nice little design tip. Everything's in threes, everything kind of has a triangle look. So we have a piece of Flirty Flamingo, and this is going to be just a hair bigger than the basic white, so that's gonna be a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we'll go ahead and adhere that together. Like so. We're gonna wrap that with some retiring petal pink striped organdy ribbon. I love this ribbon, it's so pretty. I love that you can see through it, so it's just kind of delicate looking. I'm just gonna tie a double knot around that those two layers. And then we'll trim that off, like so. Let's pull that down a little bit further. There we go. And then we'll add that onto, oh, wait a minute, one more thing. I have a piece of pear pizzazz. This is a five and a half by two inch piece of pear pizzazz. And I have textured it with a tasteful textiles embossing folder, which is retiring. I'm so sad. I love, I just love a good subtle linen-like background that you can just add a little bit of texture, but it doesn't distract from anything on your card. And that's why I really liked this tasteful textile. So, so pretty. I'm sad to see that one go. But you know, there's always new and fun project or products in our upcoming catalog. So there's always new things to play with. We can't get too sad about it. All right, that just goes right across the center. And then I'm gonna actually pop this whole piece up. So pardon me for taking a little extra time to put some dimensionals, but I just love that you can get the whole stamped image as your focal point, but you gotta have a little bit of, a little bit of height. 
So we gotta pop it up a little bit. And then we'll center that. We wanna add just a little bit of sparkle, of course. So let me get some elegant faceted dots, gems, elegant faceted gems. I believe these are not retiring, which I'm so glad, they're so pretty. These are petal pink. And we'll just put three of those on there. And there you go, there's our first card. So simple and easy. I love that you get all the beauty from the stamps. They're just gorgeous. Can you imagine you could do them in all kinds of color combinations? I'm gonna show you another combination that I did. These were actually cards that I sent out for my shower thank you. So my baby shower last um, last year <laughs> and um, had many, many gifts and many of you out there sent me things too. So you might've received one of these cards, but I sent these out and I absolutely, these are all some of my favorite colors for that are bright and cheery. So I started with a Coastal Cabana background stamped in Coastal Cabana. These flowers also, are, I think those are in Pool Party, just a little bit different um, blue. And then Flirty Flamingo for these flowers, Bumblebee, Pear Pizzazz for the leaves. And then I layered it onto a Bermuda Bay layer and then added the white crinkle seam binding and also some pearl jewels. So those are my two cool versions and this is the one that's gonna be in your class kit. All right, our next card features some of the beautiful expressions in ink paper. We're gonna start that one with the thick basic white cardstock. This one is five and a, uh, five and a half, I keep saying five and a quarter, but it's five and a half, and then you're gonna cut it to seven and three Eight, or seven and three quarters. Why well, I don't know why I can't do math today. I mean, can I ever? You guys know. I have, I have a struggle with it every week. <laughs> so five and a half by seven and three quarter. And so that's gonna be our horizontal card base. We're gonna start with just a one inch strip of the striped expressions in ink paper. We're gonna put that along the bottom. Now, if you wanna do any stamping on the inside of your card, you might wanna do it now before you get all of, before you get the strip on. So you could add some flowers to the inside and I'll show you what I did once we get done with the card, um, what I did on my original card. All right, so now I have a piece here of the Expressions in Ink paper. It's five and a half by two and I'm gonna add that to a piece of Melon Mambo. I found that even though it says, I think it's supposed to be um, the polished pink is what the color is that goes with this paper, but all of the pinks look great. The Magenta Madness, the Melon Mambo, because there's so many different variations of that color. So I wanted to show you what that looked like with Melon Mambo. So this is just a two and an eighth. That's not true two and a quarter inch piece by five and a half. Just stick with me, I'll get all the measurements right eventually. All right, now before I put that down, I want to go ahead, actually I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. Then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment onto the card front, which is always a little scary when you do it after the fact, but we're gonna we're gonna hope that it all works out. All right, so we're gonna use the happy birthday. And we're gonna stamp that in Melon Mambo. Okay, let's hope that it works. Ta-da, not too bad. Then we'll keep that out, we're gonna stamp Again, with that large flower in Melon Mambo. If you wanted to use, like I said, the Magenta Madness is gonna look great with that as well. So there's Melon Mambo. I'm gonna clean that up for the next class, or the next, the, the next project. 
There we go. And I'm also going to stamp in pale papaya the center of that flower. So we gotta clean our rich razzleberry off and stamp that in pale papaya. And then we're gonna finish up with a couple, this is just a scrap piece here because we're gonna use our die cuts to cut those out. And then our, hmm, I seem to have, I know it's gonna bite me. I seem to have lost my little leaf. Here it is. So I'm stamping these in shaded spruce. I don't think I told you that. So those are all my different pieces for a little collage. And then I'm going to cut those out with the artistic die. So I have all of the pieces here already done for us. And then we're just gonna add that to our card front. So I'm gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. Ooh, before we do that, put the ribbon on. This is the gold shimmer ribbon. I was so happy to see this is not retiring. This is sticking around. I love it with this paper because it's it's a beautiful gold shimmer. It matches the gold foil very well. So again, tie it in a knot and cut to make it look like a little faux bow. All right, now we can put that flower on there. We're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. And we'll go like that. Then we'll add the flower center. I don't want to get that too high. You could pop that up if you wanted to, but I don't want it to be too high. The post office doesn't love that very much. And then we'll add the leaves with some seal as well. I'll just add a little one up here. And then this one we're going to stick down here. Like so. You could have it hang over a little bit if you want to. So there is our flower and then we're going to finish up with one of these brushed brass butterflies. Have you guys used these? I love them. They are so fabulous with any kind of floral really. Um, I love that they're gold and so they match a lot of gold things obviously. I love that they're flat. That's my favorite part. So the post office will not be mad at me. And I'm just gonna put a couple of those on there so we have kind of a gold, gold thing going on. Beautiful, beautiful. And these are gonna be in the new catalog, so I'm glad they're not getting rid of those. You'll be happy to know that. You can use those with all kinds of floral cards. Now, let me show you what I did on the inside. So this was the one that I made, and I just actually I stamped it later with a piece of white, but what I would suggest is do it before you put your striped piece down, and then you can just kind of mimic what's going on on the front. And this one, I wanted to show you the difference between, this is Magenta Madness, and then this is the Melon Mambo. So you can see just a little bit of difference there. Both look great, um, even with the Melon Mambo uh, accents, the Magenta Madness looks really great too. So. Um, you know, pick whichever one you like, whichever one you may have in your collection. And then along with that, my too cool version is I wanted, I've been trying to use all of the different foiled papers because I love them so much. So every card that you're getting has different foils on it. So this one, I wanted to use this beautiful green paper with gold foil through it. So we're gonna do a too cool version with that green paper. I started with a shaded spruce this time. I made the front, you can see that I made the front just a little bit shorter. So it's just three, what is it? It's three and a quarter, whereas this is three and a half inch long. So you have more showing, but I had the same amount of 
uh, striped papers, just an inch there. So you can see I did some decoration on the inside. The outside has a bumblebee flower and pear pizzazz for the leaves, the same gold ribbon. The flower center is stamped off cinnamon cider. That almost looks goldish to me, so I thought it looked really nice. And then, whoops, and then I um, stamped the thanks on a piece of basic white that was die cut with the tasteful labels dies. Those are, hmm, I'm thinking those are retiring. I don't remember. Let me check real quick. I don't want to give you the wrong information. I wish I could show you the catalog because it's really nice. I don't see them in here. I think that they're gone. I, I can't be sure though. Um, and then we ha I just have one butterfly on this one. But you'll be making both of these cards in your card kit. Okay. All right, you guys, the next one, the next card is my absolute favorite. It is so beautiful, so elegant. I just love, love, love it. It starts with polished pink, and this is a gatefold card. Remember, before you burnish, you wanna put those two ends, you wanna meet them up nice and flush, and then score. So this is a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of polished pink, and then I scored it two and an eighth inch in from each end. Or I can give you an actual two and an eighth inch and three and three eighths. I just go two and an eighth inch, flip it, two and an eighth inch. Works really well that way. So you wanna make sure that you, when you have a gate fold, you wanna make sure you burnish it nice and crisply so it lays as flat as possible. Then I wanna show you a couple of the pieces in this ex, uh, Expressions in Ink are very, very versatile. You can use pieces and parts like you do normally. You can actually use these as a background. So what I've seen a lot of people do is cut these into six different front pieces. So you can go you know, up to five and a half inches this way and then four and eight inch cuts. So you can have six pieces here. So what I'm saying is, um, I actually cut out a piece, and this is a three and a quarter, three and three quarter by five inch piece, and it's just you could have six of those, boop boop boop, out of one sheet, and then you stamp directly on it. So let me show you what that looks like. We're going to use the thanks stamp and memento ink. And I'm just gonna stamp right up here. And because it could have a little bit of a finish to it, I just kind of let the ink soak into it a little bit. And you might, and don't touch it right away because it takes a little bit longer to dry since there is that finish. So be very careful about that part. All right, next I'm gonna add it to a piece of four by five and a quarter basic black. So a lot of times when I do gate folds, I have smaller pieces as the focal point, you know, just a small circle or a, a rectangle that's on the front. This is actually taking up the majority of the card. So it's a little bit different than I normally do but I still really, really like it. Okay, before we add that, we're gonna add some polished pink open weave ribbon. Tie it in that double knot. My lazy man bow. Boop. I've heard people say that they like my sound effects, so I gotta bring those back. I haven't done those in a while. All right, now I'm gonna add this, and of course I have my little trick where I only wanna have it adhered to this one side of the panel. So I'm gonna flip that 180. 
You could pop that up if you wanted to. I'm just gonna add some seal adhesive. And then center that. So now we have a gate fold and you don't really see the gate very much, but it makes it a really fun and interesting way for that to open. Now let's decorate. I've already uh, stamped my rose and die cut that and I've stamped it in magenta madness as well as the polished pink. So that's ready to go. And then I've also used that really intricate die and die cut this beautiful gold foil leaf. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I love how it goes with all of this paper so, so well. So with this one, I think I'm gonna, you have to arrange this and you'll notice that every piece that you get is a little bit different. So you're gonna have, your white is gonna kind of go up and down in the paper. So whatever piece you get, you stamp in the white and then you're gonna put your flowers around that somehow. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, adjusting on your own to make it work for whatever piece of paper you get. So with that in mind, um, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cut pieces that I like so that they are going in the direction that I want them to go. So this, I'm just gonna kind of play around. I'm gonna have maybe this go this way. And then I'm gonna cut this a little different. And I'll have this coming out. Let's see. Maybe like this. Even that's a little bit too long. Let's go. So you don't really need all of the pieces. All right, that's looking a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive and put those down where I want them. And you want to make sure the adhesive is gonna be underneath one of the roses, so keep that in mind. And you can see that I, I actually put the leaves underneath the ribbon, so that's gonna hold them down. So you don't really have to do much in the way of adhesive other than that. Then we're gonna pop these up, and when we put enough dimensionals on here, it's gonna hold those gold leaves down. The other thing I want to say about the dimensionals is try not to get them too close to the edge that will give you a little bit more leeway when you are trying to position everything. So let me get all the backings off and then we can position. All right, so I wanna have my darker color down here. And then because I have my dimensionals, actually I wanna make that go a little bit further down. We'll just take it all down. There we go. And then because I put my dimensionals in the middle, then they over, overlap very nicely there and they don't, you don't have a dimensional in the way. So there is actually, yeah, that's already down. I think I would have liked to have moved it over just a little bit underneath the thanks, just um, to make it fill that that white space up just a little bit better. But position it before you get it all laid down, before you get it all adhered, and then get your uh, adhesive out and um, you know play with it. So let's finish up that with some gilded gems. These are retiring. So let's just use that in this little area here. And there you have it. So this is the one that you're gonna make. Let me show you another version here. This is the one I started with. And you can see where this white piece is a little bit lower. 
and so I had to arrange things a little bit differently. But if you just cut your leaves apart and kind of maneuver them around, position them where you want them, uh, you'll get something that's really, really pretty. So this one I had to kind of go underneath the thanks. This one had I had to go over the thanks. So play around with it and uh, you'll find something that you like. And then in the inside, um, you're gonna you know just stamp whatever you want. You can use some of the paper to make a little border there. Really, really pretty. Okay, and then we have a too cool version, which I also love. This one starts out with shaded spruce as the, the background, gatefold. And then we used another piece of the Expressions in Ink paper. That's this one. So again, just like the first one, you can cut that into six pieces and uh, you'll have a little bit left over. You can actually use the leftovers to decorate the inside of your card. I'll show you that in a minute. But this has beautiful pear pizzazz and shaded spruce and other colors in there that you can use. So that's what I decorated this one with. I used Just Jade as the ribbon going across and I frayed the edges. I love how that braided ribbon frays so nicely. And then um, I used a different sentiment and again, you just find wherever the white space is, whoops, and work around it with your flowers. I have a stamped off shaded spruce and then a pear pizzazz on there. And then the inside, I did mint macaron and pear pizzazz for those two flowers. And that was a piece of the extra from the back of that piece. So I thought those were, I just absolutely love, they're so elegant looking with all of that gold foil. And this one will be in your kit. Okay, we have one more card. This is another fancy fold. And we're trying to use the last piece that I wanted to show you with the gold foil pieces in, or gold foil um, decorative pieces in them. This is a pale papaya quarter sheet of cardstock. So it's just four and a quarter by five and a half. And there's no fold, just a quarter sheet. Then we have another piece of pale papaya. This one is eight and a half by three and it's scored at four and a quarter. So we'll fold this in half. And this is gonna be a center flap style of card. So it'll open this way. And I have started with the last piece here that has the gold flecks in them. It has a lot of pale papaya. These are four by one and a quarter inch. And you'll need two of those. You're putting them on each side of your card base. Okay, then we'll adhere this piece down. So just a little bit of seal on the back. Center that between your two pieces and it's gonna be flush to the top and the bottom of your card. And then we'll decorate that with, you could do this if you wanted to, to have the same paper. I'm gonna use the back side, which coordinates beautifully. If you wanted to, you could flip so you had the green on the outside and the pretty pattern on the inside. I just didn't want it to, um, to detract from the focal point that we're gonna create. So I like the green kind of as a little, a little more of a solid look. All right, so there's our base. Now this time on my scrap piece of paper, I am going to stamp the large piece here, the large flower, and I'm going to ink that up in pale papaya. And we're gonna do some sponging on the stamp to create a two-toned look. So let me get my little sponge dauber. So I have my little sponge dauber here, and I, I buy a sponge dauber for each color and that way, and I put a little piece of cardstock on it so I know exactly what color it is. If you had a label, you could put that on there too. 
So I'm just putting a little bit of ink on it from the Calypso Coral ink pad and then very lightly dabbing in the center and then just a few random spots on the outside edge. And you can see that it has a beautiful two-toned look, kind of like our two-toned look in the paper. That's what I was trying to mimic, what that looked like. So there's the larger flower. And then I also wanted to do the smaller flower the same way. So ink it up in the lighter color, pale papaya. And then a little dab of Calypso Coral and just a little light dab here and there, or you can cover it a lot, depending on how much you want for your contrast. I just love that technique, and it looks so beautiful on this watercolory type of an image. So I die cut those out. I have some here that I've already done, and I also stamped and cut out a couple of the leaves as well. I have one of the largest circles from the layering circles die with basic white and we'll stamp a sentiment on that. The last sentiment that we have not used yet is best wishes. I'm going to stamp that in doo -doo -doo -doo, mossy meadow. So just like I was telling you with the pinks, it really goes so well with so many pinks. It also goes so well with so many of the greens. So you can use, um, depending on whether this is kind of an olive, mossy, meadow, uh, pear pizzazz type of color combination, but then you also have shaded spruce and just jade, which is gonna be retiring. So definitely lots of variation. All right, we're gonna add this onto our circle. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna add dimensionals. And again, I pretty much just want the dimensionals to be underneath where the circle is. Doesn't really matter. I guess I, I just don't want them too far out and you'll see what I mean in a minute couple under this one. Again, kind of in the center so we can overlap easily. And all right. Let's do it right like that. And then this is going to go over here. And this is going to go right onto your card front. Let's go ahead and add that with some seal so we know where that's going to be exactly. And I'm going to leave room at the top because we're going to put a ribbon right up here to finish it up. And then we have our little leaves here. Add a little seal to those and we're going to tuck those underneath the flowers. So let's add one right here. This is why you wanna keep the dimensionals kind of to the center of the flower so you can just easily tuck those in wherever they're gonna look nice. So this one, I have a, a dimensional there, so it's having trouble sticking in there very far. So we're just gonna cut that off a little bit. I kind of cut it the wrong direction. Trim it. Do, 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 do. That dimensional is just really in the way. <laughs> this is why you don't put dimensionals by the edge. I'm gonna be sorry and I'm gonna lose too much of it probably. There we go. I just wanna have it so it's not, we don't want it to be completely off the card. So that that is just another little lesson. If you put the dimensionals too close to the edge, then you can't just tuck those in underneath. So be careful of that. All right, so here is our card. We're gonna finish up with a piece of the fine art ribbon. And this has some beautiful, beautiful gold flecks inside, which is why I chose it. We want to keep that gold theme going on. This is a retiring ribbon, 
So get it while you can. And like the others, we're gonna just trim that off. Scooch that over a little bit. And then we're gonna finish it up with some metallic jewels. They're actually called metallic pearls. These are retiring. They come in a pack of both gold and silver, but I loved um, all the different little gold dots that you see. There's some that are gold dots inside of the flower. And so I'm kind of mim mimicking that look with these pearls. So there you go, that is the final card. Let me show you my first card that I did um, so you can see what I did on the inside. So don't forget to stamp a little something on the inside. I wanted to make it, I didn't want to have it compete too much with the outer edge there, so I just did a couple of leaves. And yeah, I love how that turns out. Then, of course, I have my two cool version. This one starts with some uh, old olive as your base color, and then I used a different pattern paper from the Expressions in Ink. And then this time I could pick up the shaded spruce leaves. I have per the pear pizzazz. I did a pale papaya and then a magenta madness. And then I put little dots. You can see in the paper I have some little dots here. They're kind of like a just jade. What I did was I stamped that in stamped off shaded spruce. And then this time I put a couple of little butterflies on there. I thought that was cute. And then there's my inside with the, the dots that kind of go with that paper. So that is the last card. So let's get all of the cards back out here, the ones that you're gonna have in your kit. Clean off all of the paper here out of the way. So we're gonna have a lot of horizontal cards this time. I didn't do very many of the, the vertical cards. Didn't even think about that. So here are all five cards that are gonna be in your kit. Now remember, you're gonna get all the parts and pieces for making these cards. You're gonna get the papers, you're gonna get the die cuts. One thing I want to clarify, because I've had some questions on it, um, I don't stamp and then die cut and put those pieces in your card kit. That is simply because it is against Stampin' Up! policy for me to stamp images for you. They are trying to sell their stamps after all. So they don't want me to do that part for you. <laughs> they want you to buy the stamp set. So you supply the stamps, the dies if you need them, and uh, the inks and adhesives. I provide all of the paper that you need, the embellishments, and anything that's die cut that doesn't need to be stamped ahead of time. So this particular card set, we do have a lot of things that are stamped and then die cut. The flowers, the leaves, the flowers here, the flowers and leaves here, the flower here, including the center one. So all of those things, you're just going to get basic white cardstock. You'll need to stamp and die cut. If you just have the stamp set, you'll need to stamp and fussy cut. So I just want to clarify that I'm not allowed to stamp images for you. All right. Uh, yeah, so you're going to get all those parts and pieces, so you can make those all at home. Plus, you're going to get a tutorial that will walk you through all the step-by-step -step of how to put those together. So you can either watch the video and or look at the step-by-step -step instructions. And uh, you'll have until next Tuesday, which is, what is that? April 5th, I believe, is your deadline to earn this kit with a $35 order using that special host code ME4ZQ9TY. So next Tuesday, April 5th, and then I will have all the kits in the mail and ready to go to, uh, to mail out to you by April 12th. Did I say August? I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> it's April 5th and April 12th is when they're gonna be sent in the mail. I'm so, sometimes I have so little sleep. You know, I do have a newborn after all, and so my brain doesn't function very well. Anyway, 
I hope you guys have really enjoyed this card class. I have, I just love all of the beautiful images in it and of course the paper. So be sure to get that paper before it's gone. Retiring uh, by May 2nd or while supplies last. I don't think it'll last till May 2nd for sure. Uh, okay, if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments and let me know what you think of the cards this week. And I am looking forward to seeing you again next week with another class. Until then, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.